Velvet Underground, live at Max's Kansas City, was recorded on August 23, 1970, by Andy Warhol associate Bridget Polk on a cassette recorder. The album not only captured Lou Reed's last performance with the Velvet Underground, but also the sounds of the rock scene Max's Kansas City embodied. Throughout the recording, famed New York poet Jim Carroll, who was sitting with Bridget that night, can be heard ordering drinks and attempting to score pills. We only hear him, but he wasn't the only name in the crowd. During the late 60s, early 70s, it was not uncommon to see Andy Warhol, David Bowie, or Mick Jagger hanging out in Max's famed back room, or catch Bob Marley and the Whalers opening up for Bruce Springsteen on stage upstairs. For a period of 10 years, Max's was the beating heart of New York City pop culture, and then it was gone. As the music scene changed, so did the venues. The club closed its doors in 1974, only to unsuccessfully reopen a few times in different locations. Today, in its place stands a generic New York deli. The tables and banquettes that once played host to a generation of artists and rock and rollers have been replaced by steam trays of mediocre food and aisles of overpriced sundries. Now, the only way to relive the Max's experience is by listening to the music that was recorded there. So turn down the lights, pour yourself a drink, and spin the Velvet Underground live at Max's Kansas City on the turntable. It's not a time machine, but it's pretty close.